Hey Air Science, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what is this no contact, no communication period about between you and your person, what's going on with them during this uh, phase, what is their silence telling you, you know, why is it that they're distant, acting cold or what? They, why they're pulled away. There is going to be a part two to this reading as well and in part two of the reading we're going to explore the messages in a little bit more detail. So it is going to be a continuation but a little bit more in depth as to what's really going on between the two of you in this situation. And part two of the reading is going to be made available by the extension link below. Now for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video. Otherwise guys, let's go ahead and let's begin. So again, this reading is available for uh, all air signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. Okay, this card sort of flipped over. This person isn't done with you, not by a long shot. Okay, this person is... If the two of you have had a breakup, a fight or a separation, some sort of some sort of conflict okay the last time that you guys have spoke it feels like this person is unable to move on from the situation either to move like they're not able to move on from the conflict from what was said or what happened here between the two of you or they're holding on to your energy and they're not able to release you and let you go uh, and notice with the four of pentacles and uh, the four of pentacles uh, imagery sorry Notice the way that he's clutching onto the pentacles, onto the coins so tightly. In fact, he's restrained from acting. He's restrained from doing anything because he is holding on so tightly to his worldly possessions here. So this is what it feels like your person is doing. They're holding on to you. They're holding on to your energy. They're holding on to the memories that the two of you created. Like they haven't deleted any of your photos, your text messages. They're holding on to every little bit of... Um, just every little bit of thing that reminds you, uh, that reminds them of you here. They're still invested. It feels like your person is still invested. And even though they're not communicating or even though they're not talking here, it does feel like they're a little bit bitter. Let me tell you that. It feels like they're hurt, they're wounded, but they're also quite... They could be very immature here, as in, you know, this person is going through some emotions, but instead of talking to you about it, it feels like they're kind of taking the time to either indulge in a pity narrative um, or just, you know, pull themselves away and sulk. So it feels like with this kind of energy, I'm just seeing that this person feels like they're cling. It's like a very clingy and a very suffocating kind of energy. And it feels like this person is holding on to you. Okay, this is why I don't see this being over not just yet not the way that this person is holding on to you there's also something you've gifted this person it's like a little i don't know if it's like cufflings or a little it's like a ring or some sort of jewelry or, or something small I, I don't it could be it's something small that they're able to hold in the palm of their hands uh, this is something that they treasure and cherish okay this is something that i feel like this person wears often and they do so in order to feel, you know, closely connected to you. I'm also seeing that with this person, there's a lot of likely issues of insecurity and fear being involved here. 
And if this person doesn't take the time to untangle some of these issues, then it could very well sabotage or jeopardize this connection here. Um, they're holding on to some sort of... Okay, I'm getting the message they're holding on to an X, which I think you represent the X here, because I think for a lot of you there's been some sort of conflict, there's been some sort of t turmoil, turbulency, a, a disconnection, a breakup, a separation, some sort of argument, disagreement, you know, things got a little bit loud here, things got a little bit uncomfortable, uh, and it feels like this person is still holding on to an ex, so the ex returning um, into their life, or they're holding on to a grudge, and that's interesting. It, it would make sense if they're still holding on to a grudge as well, because I see that, I see that being an insecurity in the energy, I see them being very jealous and very bitter as well. They will communicate though, let me tell you, in the future there will be communication from this person. So even though, even though you guys are going through something very uncomfortable or something very strange, weird or awkward, I'm seeing that there is going, you guys are going to come into alignment with one another. In the future okay it may take longer than you may have wanted it to or it may take longer than you might have imagined it but it just feels like they're trying to go over the struggle of the five of one situation between the two of you it feels like this person what they're doing right now I, I see them sort of battling with themselves their head and their heart are at war with one another their heart says they want you their head says don't call, don't re don't text, don't communicate. I'm also seeing that this person is very busy during this time and I think this is a coping mechanism. I think this person is someone who's afraid to face their emotions, they're afraid to sit with their feelings. I mean a lot of people are, right? It takes someone who is emotionally mature and emotionally intelligent in order to be able to navigate those, you know, emotional kind of territories. But I see that this person needs to sit down. They need to confront their emotions. They need to sit with their insecurities. They need to untangle some of the knots on their insecurities. Because if they don't, it's going to continue to affect your relationship with them. And also all future relationships as well. And perhaps even like it might extend beyond romantic relationships. So they need to do some work on themselves. But I feel like their way of instead of dealing with what's really the issue here why they're so feeling why they're feeling so jealous insecure so bitter over you and over what's happened here they've instead thrown themselves into this very busy hectic schedule so they may be taking on more hours at work they may have taken a, another job and this is all this is avoidance this is what that is they're avoiding dealing with their feelings so yeah this person anxious avoidant in, I don't know, I'm getting like, in one way, I'm getting this person, person out, have an anxious attachment style, but on the flip side of the coin, I'm getting an avoidant attachment style as well, which is really interesting. Um, but it just feels like, yeah, this person is uh, very busy or they're coming across being very busy as well. They're acting cold, they're acting distant, uh, because I feel like this person is just trying to they're trying to understand themselves or their emotions a little bit better. But at the same time, I don't think that they want to give too much away with the queen, uh, with the, sorry, the high priestess energy. This person is purposely coming across as cold and distant, but there's so much going on underneath, below the surface. There's just so much going on with them emotionally. They may also purposely be trying to appear very busy on social media because they know that you're going to sneak a peek every now and then so this person is purposely trying to you know seem busy seem like they're happy they're having a good time now this is all a facade this is all you know an image that they want to project to you so you know don't be fooled don't look at that and think that they're happy um, and doing well without you they're not they've got a lot of inner turmoil uh, that they're dealing with there's a lot that they're not processing that they're running away from um, but I think this person is coming across as a little bit bitter jealous and insecure and they want and because they're coming across as you know this way they're trying to project that onto you so they're trying to get you to get, you know feel jealous or feel insecure about yourself or about this situation so do not fall into that trap okay it's not worth it they still care about you, of course they do. They feel like 
I mean, with the star card, this person feels like the two of you were destined for one another. They they felt like it was there was something very special about you and something very special about the two of you had. So I think this person is having a hard time grappling with the fact that they don't have that anymore, okay? Or grappling with the fact that, you know, that they may have stuffed things up or whatever has happened here. This person has a hard time not, you know, understanding exactly what it is that's going on between the two of you but this person does I feel like they do love you I feel like they do there's a lot of hope in their energy they they are hoping that you will come back into their lives they are hoping that the two of you will reconnect they are um they, they're hopeful they are they're hopeful They're holding back though. They still very much feel connected to you. And like I've mentioned, there's some either there's some photos or it could be like a photo frame. I don't know, it's something small. And they they hold they hold on to this because there's a sense of hope. It instills a hope in them that the two of you will come back together, that the two of you will work through um, you know, this. They feel like you've represented such an important time in their life because they've crossed paths with you and they feel like you were a blessing and they felt like you've helped them with so much personal growth and development. They also feel like this person is an optimist, let me tell you. And they feel like anything is possible and their heart is full of hope. It is. Their heart is full of hope that the two of you will work it out. Even if they are being immature or acting insecure, they're still optimistic. There's still room for optimism in their energy. They still feel as though, you know, the two of you, there's a magic about you, there's a magic about what the two of you have had and they want to recreate that. They're kind of waiting for you. Are they waiting for you to make a move? I'm not sure. They're waiting for you. We'll explore what that, what that's all about in part two of the reading. Um, but honestly, they felt like you were a dream or a wish come true and that you've lifted up, you've lifted them up to the highest of highs. You were such an inspiration, or you still are such an inspiration to them. I see that they've bettered themselves because of you. You've made them, you've made them change their ways, or you've made some very significant changes in their life. You've, you, I see that you've transformed this person a lot. Wow, you honestly, I don't think you realize how much of an influence you are on this person's energy, um, and you still continue to 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 be so. Trust me. Okay, so in part two of the reading, we're going to explore, because I see a lot of communication in the future. I see them, I see messages pinging back, back and forth. I see a lot of contact communication. For those of you that are doing long distance, I see air travel in the cards. This person might be coming from overseas or from at a distance to see you. Okay, I see that like a, someone's bridging a distance, closing the gap, whether physically or emotionally. Um, verbally okay so follow me via the extension link below to part two of the reading where we're going to explore uh, the contact the communication that's coming in and where might when might that happen because there's a lot of it um, what is this person waiting for and um, anything else that the cards want to tell us so that part two of the reading is going to be made available via the extension link below for those of you that wanting a personal reading, feel free to inquire. Thank you guys so much. Please show your support for your um, for the channel by um, liking, sharing, or subscribing. Bye for now.